God is good. All the time. As some of you know, I'm on the exorcism team. And for the past year or so, we've met some 25 times with this young woman to try and free her from her possession. There are several ways that we can keep the devil at bay, and I'm going to give you four. The first one is your baptismal promise. When we baptize our, uh, our children, we ask the parents, in asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising him or her in the faith, so that keeping God's commandments, he or she may love the Lord and his or her neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? And we reply, we do. The second one, is blessing our houses. On Epiphany, we have the chance to bless our houses. While it's nice to have either a priest or a deacon come over and bless your house, it's actually more effective if the head of the household do does the blessing. You see, in the spiritual realm, the demons follow a set of rules, and they like to tell us what they are. So when the head of the household says the blessing, they are taking ownership of the dwelling and therefore are Lord of the mansion. Number three, sacramentals, holy water and blessed salt. Our holy water font sitting in the back of church is about half full right now. And I've also prepared some blessed salt and I have it over here on the counter for you to take with you when you leave. We use blessed salt during the exorcism and it can be used daily in our lives. The best example is if you had a bad dream or your children have bad dreams. You sprinkle some blessed salt around their bed at night and ask God to take care of them and keep them safe. Because you are the Lord of the manor, when you use blessed salt, you again are taking control of your possession and not allowing anything bad to happen. In the exorcism of salt, we say, be thou a purified salt for the health of believers giving soundness of body and soul to all who use thee. In whatever place thou art sprinkled, may phantoms and wickedness and Satan's cunning be banished, and let every unclean spirit be repulsed by him who shall come to judge the living and the dead and the world by fire. Amen. And the fourth one, your guardian angel. I think this is the most important. When we were conceived, God gave us a guardian angel to help us through life and into heaven. But you see, you need to foster that relationship. So every morning when I wake up, I say, guardian angel, inspire and illuminate me. And when I lay my head back on my pillow that night, I say, guardian angel, inspire and illuminate me. And then I add, and I give you permission to watch over my dreams and keep the devil away. So to sum up these four things to help keep the devil away, number one, your baptismal promise. Number two, take control of your possessions. Number three, sacramentals such as holy water and blessed salt. And number four, foster your relationship with your guardian angel, your lifelong companion. Amen? Amen.